Welcome back to another typical PNW Guy YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about my new switch I got from Brownells. Um, so I got this in the last video, and then it comes with a switch, but a friend that has the same uh device was like, hey man, you don't want to use that switch, it's trash. He goes, don't even pull it out of the box. So I asked him what one to grab, and he said this guy. So it's a Unity Switch dual lead. So it has, you can see the two buttons. That's for the light. That's for the laser illuminator. And it is rock solid. So you can see that there's two screws. And it goes in on that side, and it's got little nuts. Um, it's a pretty cool design. I will say that mounting it is a pain in the butt because it comes completely dismantled. So you got the two screws. You have uh, the two plastic wing pieces is what I'd call it. The center piece. And then you have those two little nuts in there that you have to assemble and get kind of where you want it. And then I didn't want to take my handguard all apart. So I was fighting my rail wrap. The entire time but dual lead so they go right there which is pretty cool i had a mod light switch um you know pretty nice for what it is and that's pretty much what what this is uh size wise but now i have one switch to control two devices which is pretty freaking cool now i will say that this switch is not cheap um, you know, it's made by Unity, and as you know, a lot of the Unity stuff is not cheap. Um, it's all great quality, though. That is the nice thing. So, the reason why I went with this guy is, like I said, my friend told me that it was a good one. But at the same time, it is ramped in the front, which allows you to you know, put a finger on the front of it or whatever. So I have a couple points you can see right there to really grab onto the upper and just, you know, have it rock solid in my arm. Uh, the ramped part is also nice because you can easily just flip your thumb forward and, you know, uh, activate the light, uh, which is a mod light OKW18650. So I got all the lumens, all the candela, which is pretty cool. And then as you can see, they're mounted pretty freaking far forward. And then the laser is as forward as I can get it. Um, but it's super light, so it's a polymer. But it it's, it kind of reminds me of like uh, what a stock would be made out of. Just that really rigid polymer, super lightweight though. And the only thing that's metal is the mounting hardware, you know, the screws and the nuts. And then it has seven inches um, per lead. So that's pretty cool. I didn't obviously need that because you can tell I only really need like three. But hey, seven inches. I don't think anyone ever complained about having seven inches. But it is, if you look right here. So it's the Surefire and the Crane Laser Plugs. Uh, so, you know, it's it's like 140 bucks from Brownells. Um, I added something else, was able to use coupon code BOP10, saved me 10%, which was awesome. Uh, they got it to me, even with economy shipping in like three, four days. Pretty cool. Um, but now I should be able to go and shoot at night. Sorry, my dogs are freaking out. The mailman's outside. Um, but this is kind of the last piece I needed to actually go shoot at night. It's been long, you know, saving up money and whatnot. Got the PVS-14, got the laser, got the switch. You know, now I'm good to go. Now I just need to go pew pew at night. But first impressions, uh, absolutely like it. Super ergonomical uh, for what it is. You know, 
it I think it's a great option. I just wish it was a little cheaper, obviously, you know, who doesn't want to save money? But it's a great option. Um and heck, why not? I'm I'm thankful that my friend uh let me know about this guy because I probably would have bought just another mod light switch and just ran it like that, but glad I didn't and can't wait to use it. But until next time, stay safe. Deuces.